Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm gonna to be pruning my peach trees here. I've got two of them. And this is the time to do it. I mean, it's it's in the winter. All the leaves have fallen off. Bald. They're pretty much in dormancy. When you prune them, you're actually gonna end up getting a bigger harvest the following season. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'll bring you guys along. You can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you wanna think about is what type of pruning shears you got. So you wanna make sure that you got some clean ones. Now I say that and these have rust on them. But they are actually, if you look at that edge there, you can see I actually put an edge on it. Uh, they're nice and sharp. Um, that's really important. You want really sharp pruning shears. Okay, they're all oiled and I wiped them down with some disinfectant wipes just to make sure that they're nice and clean because you don't want to bring infection from another plant into one. And then I'm going to have to wipe it down after I trim this one and before I go move on to that one. We've got these little nubs here. Okay. And this is where a new branch is going to be growing out of. Every single one of these branches, the tree is sending energy to the end and making the end grow longer. And when you cut it off, then usually the first one or two little nodules here, the tree is going to send out energy to those, and those will end up becoming the new branch, usually one or two of them. And the majority of these plants, the new wood growth, is where you're going to get the fruit off of. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we want to do. Um, now, there are multiple different kinds of cuts. Now, I'm no expert, guys, okay? This is just from research that I've done online and a little bit of experience, but definitely I am no expert, okay? There is plenty of good videos exactly how to trim. But I figured I'd bring you guys along. After you watch this video, go ahead and look it up if you plan on doing it yourself and make sure that you're doing it right. So you could either cut off entire branches if you want to shape the tree different, or if you've got certain branches that are growing inward, like for instance, right here, this is growing into the tree. I don't want that. I want to keep the inward area, uh, the canopy open. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And when you cut, by the way, and that, I mean, I'm cutting the entire thing off. I'm not leaving any nodules, anything for that to grow because it's growing in. Um, and when you cut, you want to cut at a slight angle. Again, with very sharp scissors. And you can see here, this one is growing inward. Uh, same with this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And by the way, you want really sharp scissors. Do you see that cut? There is not any issue with this fraying or anything like that, which can introduce disease. And when you cut off an entire branch, don't like right up to the edge. You want to leave a little bit, okay? Leave a little bump. All right, so all these are going outward. This one is fragile. This one's dead. So I'm actually, let's see. I don't like it anyway, so let's just cut that whole thing off. Those ones are crisscrossing, so we've got to figure out do we want which one. Since they're kind of, you can see, I mean, they're not growing into each other, but the, it's funky shaped. I want to make sure that this is the healthiest possible. So I think I'm going to cut off the bottom one. It does look like it got a little damage right there anyway. So here we go. How is this one doing? We'll see. This looks a little fragile as well. I'm not seeing these nubs popping up. Yeah, this is dry. This one's dead, so any dead, of course, we're going to cut off. Now, this is small enough that these shears are going to work perfectly. Um, if you were going to be cutting off larger branches, so for instance, if this was a much older tree and you had branches that were the size of this trunk, then you're going to want to get like a saw. Okay, a pruning saw or something large enough to be able to do that. But these little twigs, this is fine. So this one's growing inward. We want to keep everything going outward. Inside words and outside words. <laughs> inside words stay in, outside words come out that time and inside word popped out. I think this whole thing is coming off. So let's cut that off. Do we have anything else growing into the plant? I don't see that. I don't think so. I think we're good. It's all kind of laying outward this one kind of but this is all open here so that should be okay we're keeping the inside here open by leaving that and this is kind of sprawling out now I do have a couple for instance this branch is growing up into these these are well established this is just one branch so we can actually cause this to start growing this way I've got a nub here and a nub there 
So we're gonna cut, we wanna cut just slightly above that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna cause the gro growth to come out here and the growth to come out here. So we'll have it growing outward. And then it'll leave this open for these branches here. We do have this one coming in and this one coming in. So if you look, this is what happened here. Let me show you, this is a good example of exactly what I'm talking about. This was cut right here. And as soon as that was cut, this was a branch that was coming up. That was cut there. Then you had this and this come out of the same nodule. And then you had another one here, another two coming out of the same here, another two coming out of the same here and here. So all this down this row grew new branches, okay? but. Those aren't branches I really want because they are, as you can see, growing into the tree. So let's cut. Let's cut that one. Let's cut that one. That one. And that one. So there we go. And that's going to keep this open in here. This one growing in. So we'll get that. And there we go. I think, I think we're set on that. So that's actually shaping the tree now. So now we've cut off all of the branches that are problem branches that are gonna be growing inside. Now let's go ahead and tip these. So we're gonna actually cause brand new growth. So I'm looking here, this actually looks a little damaged here and these are not growing, but these are. So I'm looking at this, I'm seeing two of them growing right here and they're gonna be growing outward, that's fine. This will grow in, but we can cut that off later and that one's growing out. So let's go ahead and cut this off the tip there and now we've got these two growing out this one will but we'll go ahead and cut that off next year all right so let's look here we want to tip this we've got this coming out that going out those two are fine this one's going in so we don't want that that one will go in as well so we can actually we'll cut that next year so let's go ahead and cut that there all right and that's going to force more branches, kind of like these here. They'll start growing. We'll let this one continue, I think, because we've got a couple branches coming off there. And same here. We've got a couple branches coming off right here. So we'll just let all that energy go to all these. This one here is damaged at the end, so I want to, I want to tip that. In fact, this whole branch here is damaged. So it's pointless in keeping that. And that'll force all the energy away from the damaged and into this one. So that's gonna grow tall uh, and long and that'll be healthier. That is fine, That this one, the end is, is damaged. So let's remove that. All those are grown next year, we'll go ahead and, and fix that um, when they all, you know, it'll be like this one where they all come out, we cut the ones coming in, it'll be similar with this. I've got that trimmed up. We're going to get a lot more new growth out of this. And then, of course, this next harvest is going to be a lot larger because we'll have more branches of brand new growth. Let's move on to this one. So, got to wipe these with disinfectant wipes. So let's look at this. Let's look, look around. We've got one growing inward. We're going to want to take that off. Got a whole bunch of these growing inward right here. So we'll remove that right there. This one is a little bit spindly so we want to make sure that this starts growing out so this is going to be a, a branch we need to tip this so we've got a couple good nodules there this one's going in we're going to cut right above that sorry right there and that's going to cause this one to go out and this one to go out okay so and then this will it'll Stiffen this up, this will become stronger, almost like this branch, and it'll be able to hold more. Right here, we've got one that's, there's nothing here. This broke off, this was something, it broke off. So let's just remove that whole thing. This whole area right here is open, it's kinda, so that's okay in a way, I think. I'm looking at it because there's nothing, except for this branch going this direction, really. It's kind of like a bowed this way. Now, let's go ahead and remove it. I think the whole thing should be removed. Remove that. This is kind of open, okay? So I'm okay with something higher up like this going this direction because we might figure out what we're gonna do. This is kind of, like I said, this became the new 
center you know trunk here so now we, this is now the new canopy so um it's a weird funky shaped tree when i got these i got them discounted so there's a lot to a lot to do with these so now looking at this this being the new canopy we're going to be removing growing inward towards that canopy in fact a lot of these look pretty good this one is growing in but It's going to be a while before these two touch, and I'll just figure out which one I like better once that happens next year. It's funny because these aren't swelling at all. So I wonder if they're damaged. We'll go ahead and see if we can get them to grow out of this one. Okay, and we'll get something coming this direction. I don't like this. This is really thin and spindly. So see this one and this one. Let's force those two. And we'll come up like here we've got another one here that could come out so a lot of this is pretty fresh new growth this one quite long and that might be it for this tree this one is not as healthy as that one for some reason this one has a little bit more uh it's funky shaped so it's a little harder to for me to figure out exactly what is best for it so this coming year we're going to end up having a really good harvest should at least hopefully but the summer was brutal it was 110 degrees some days at, and i think it just some of these burnt off the tip we'll see what it does but I, I do believe we're going to get a pretty good harvest this coming year from these last year we had a couple of peaches on the tree that i had to pluck off because we had just planted it so this is the first year that they've been in the ground and they'll be in the ground for a year planted it last april so once they start budding it'll be one year well if you like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind